Hello everybody, welcome back to another Christianity video on the channel today. I'm gonna be I'm gonna go over one Corinthians thirteen four through eight. So yeah. Let's get right into the video. So first off let's turn to one Corinthians thirteen four through eight. Okay. Here we go. So it says that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails but there are prophecies they will seize where they are tons they will be still where there will be knowledge it will not it will pass away so let's go with this give into more detail and break it up, up a little bit so first off love is patient love is patient love takes time to get a hold of in this current war world that we are in, that's why it's, it's so patient. We have it takes so, so long. We have to wait for it. That's when truth most comes. When you wait and be patient about it. Now it talks about how love is kind. Love is kind because you you really are so compassion to people when you have love. And it does not ever envy. That means that love is never, never gets jealous, and people don't get jealous of love or vice versa, because love is that powerful. And love thing it does not boast. It means it does not get angry, go on a rampage, or anything like that. And it is not proud, because that's the way love goes. It does not dishonor others, meaning. That it does not. You don't. That means love. You love your neighbors. That means you don't dishonor your neighbors. You love your neighbors so much that when you honor them, but most importantly, you 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 honor your your parent, your mom, and your mother and father, and your heavenly father too. It comes to that, and it's not self-seeking. Meaning you don't have to seek for it on your own. It will just come right straight to you. It is not easily angered. Meaning, no matter how much you try, you can, it, when you find true love, or when you love something so much, it, you don't get that much anger. You feel comfortable in that way. It keeps no records of wrongs because love is always right. When you find the true love. And love does not delight in evil. I mean, God. Well, I'm gonna give you an example of that. God's love is so powerful that that He is not evil, but the devil is evil. He does not have any love at all. He has all hate. You don't want all that hate. You want love from God, cause God has all the good, all the goodness, all the righteousness for you for the. That all that love and righteousness just for you, child of God. And for me too, because I'm a child of God. And, and therefore knows. But rejoices with the with the truth. Love is the truth. Because love never lies. And it always protects. Meaning, love always wants over you. The love for oh, your love and compassion for somebody or something will always win or will always protect you. Love, love is like a, it's like a house, it's, or anything that brings you shelter or will always protect you, and it always trusts when you 
loves someone so much and when someone loves you so much too when you got when love got so much that you always trust in that love and you and when you have true love and true that strong love that it will, you won't ever I mean ever lose that trust and it always hopes love always hopes it does not make you doubt at all if you have the true love it always preserves you already know about that love never fails because if you have true love everyone you won't ever get give up on that love we talk we can talk about God's love family love friends love neighbors anything like that type of love but yeah that's what all that means I broke it down for you the viewer to understand so you can have a growing relationship with God with all the love and righteousness and show your love and compassion towards your family friends and your neighbors now I like to end this video with a prayer God we like to say thank you for telling us all these things about love because you have all the love and righteousness and the goodness and the faith and the hope you are, you are the light for us you're the light of uh, hope and love for us and when we when we go by your side we will never fall down if we stay in your love and righteousness and your compassion I like to say, God, thank you for everything that we've done for our families, for our friends, our best friends, and everyone else. I like to say, God, thank you for you, our family, our friends, our best friends, and everybody after that. I like to say, God, God, and I like to say, just like everyone else, we too, and I too, am a sinner in need of your help and glory and grace. So God, help us do that. And then, in this is in your name, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.